Welcome crafters, Andy is Yodi here and today I am joining Wells Knight for part of his showcase series on his channel as a guest presenter and we're touring this amazing build. Take it away Wells. Hey guys, Wells Knight here bringing you another brand new episode in the Minecraft showcase series and we're taking a look today at this, the Hagia Sophia and I've got a special guest here with me to help me show this one off. Hey guys, Andy is Yodi here, what's up? How's it going Andy? It is going good. I am a little bit tired. I've been working all day, but I am pumped for this building. Yeah, this is something truly epic. This was built by uh, Voxicide, or Aaron Ortiz. I found it in the Minecraft subreddit, and he's been working on this for like five weeks. Now, the Hagia Sophia is, of course, a real building um, built in, I want to say the sixth century by the Byzantine empire and eventually converted into an Islamic mosque, but it's kind of one of those wonder of the world type buildings. And this is a truly, uh, beautiful rendition of it. I must say. Oh my goodness. So this is based on a real building. And where did you say Constantinople? Constantinople. Now Istanbul. Yep. Istanbul. Now, yeah, of course it's Istanbul and Turkey. Exactly. And how long did it take him to build this? Because this is... Uh, he epic. said five weeks of... Five uh, weeks! Five weeks of frustration and joy. <laughs> five weeks you are having a laugh. What? I know, I know. I said the same thing. This would have taken... Well, I never would have finished this. I don't have the patience. <laughs> I thought some of the things I did were big. <laughs> this is taking the mickey. Are we going to spin around the outside of this? Yeah, let's take a look. This is about a 400 by 200 area, give or take. And it goes up to, I don't know how high it is, but it's pretty high. I want to say it goes up to about 100 and, 130. Yeah, it looks about elevation, like that. Somewhere around there. And you just spotted this on Minecraft subreddit? Yep. Yeah, he's been posting, uh, he was posting updates. Uh, as he moved farther and farther into the build. And then he finally posted the one saying it was done. Uh, with some pictures and an imager album and all that kind of stuff, and a world download, uh, which is in the video description, by the way. There's a world download, so if you guys want to check this out yourself, you can certainly download it and do so. Oh, we can but, download this? So you can download just this building and you get it on a flat map, do you? Exactly. Yep, you'll have this exact map that we're on right now. This building is fairly plain on the outside in terms of the detail on the walls. Loads of windows. But mm -hmm. you guys have to wait until you see the inside of this place. It is insane. Absolutely. And the, that's true to the uh, to the real life building as well. The outside of it is not super ornate, uh, at least not compared to the inside. Shall we go inside? We, sh we can go inside. I'm at the courtyard. The courtyard is beautiful here with the, the lapis. Um, I'm going to see what block that is, actually. Yeah, lapis lazuli. Just Play, awesome. Playing in the fountain, I seen. Yeah. <laughs> We Through the fence. around. We need some rubber ducks. Ah, splish splash. <laughs> having a bath. <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 we need to go inside quickly because this is epic. I agree. And it would take, it would take way longer than we have to show off this entire thing because it is so big and so detailed. But the inside, I mean, this thing is so big that my render distance won't even render the entire thing at once. I might have to put mine up. It's it. Um... <laughs> 12. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to do the same. I'm up to 16. Up to 17. Might lose some FPS here, but this Let's thing Let's go is... up to I'll go up to uh 23. Now, I've seen I've seen this building on documentaries and it is kind of jaw-droppingly good inside. Mhm. Mm um but he's kind of pulled it off to be honest. He's actually done this justice, which oh, is absolutely. remarkable. And look up here. Look at this dome. I'm just waiting for the dome to kind of render. <laughs> Go over there. Oh my word. What? Look at so this the is detail. gold? Gold uh, blocks. I believe so. I believe this is, yeah, block of gold. And then he used some blue stained clay and some lapis lazuli for the so, blue. So this is the conquest texture pack. Have we talked about that yet? Oh, no, we didn't mention that. Yes, this was uh, built in conquest. We'll put a link to that in the video description mm -hmm. too. So link to the texture pack, link to the download. What more could you ask for, guys? I know. Oh, and I'm running uh, I'm running CUDA shaders. You're running Chocopic, right? Yeah, Chocopic V5. Um, Chocopic 13 V5. Yeah, this thing this is, is... beautiful. He's got these curves absolutely nailed. He does. And then you've got 
all this detail. There's this little, almost a balcony area here. And then what is what's this? Oh, and then the block, the block, the gold block has a connected texture. The gold block, I do know it does have a connected texture. So when you when you put down a few of them in a row, you get this amazing pattern. I did not know that. That's beautiful. Yeah. The, so for the, the connected textures, people are going to need either Optifine or or MC Patcher mm -hmm. mods installed. What was the guy's name? Uh, Voxicide. Voxicide, buddy. <laughs> this is just insane. Five weeks of your life. I've now gone, but look what you have to play with. Uh, that's worth it if you ask me. Look at this. This is incredible. I have not been this blown away by a build in a very long time. And he's just giving away free to download. Do you think this would be quite a good spawn for... Oh, <laughs> this would be an amazing spawn. Can you imagine logging into a server for the first time and, and just being in, in this main uh, area? It might be too big, too laggy. I don't know. Maybe... But what about know. for uh, Hunger Games? Can you imagine running about here shooting people? That would be interesting. I think I think it would be a little... Uh, I don't know if there's a whole... I, I mean, I don't know if there's really a way up to the second... I mean, there's got to be a way up to the second floor. I haven't even had... It's so big that I haven't had the chance to really explore everything. Well, I haven't found any stairs either. Maybe he's... I know they're here. I found them at one point. Oh, did you? You found stairs? don't know if I can <laughs> find them again. Oh, here we go. Here. I'll TP you. One TP second. me over there. TP... Andy to me. There we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. Stairs from the outside. Okay, the light coming through the windows was just absolutely epic there for a second. Let me see if I can find that again. Oh, there is stairs here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna fly ahead of you. Here we go. <laughs> it's like a little a little back corridor. You feel and like you're going up. back into the ancient realms of history when you're in this place. Well, I mean, it's this is about as historical as it gets. The real Hagia Sophia is packed with history. I mean, it was a uh, it was the first real Christian megachurch, and then it was eventually con uh, converted into the world's largest Islamic mosque, if I remember my history correctly. It has. It's changed hands a few times, isn't it? I think. Uh, yeah, and, and that, now that, it's that a museum. City is, um, it is a museum now, so you can go and visit this place for real. Yeah, in uh, in the early 1900s, whoever was the uh, the ruler of Turkey at the time decided to uh, take it from being an Islamic mosque and converting it into a public museum for everyone to enjoy. There was a bit where the light came through the windows. Yes, if you face the sun and see the light coming through those amazing windows, this could be my screenshot moment. I think. Oh yeah, there's so many <laughs> there's so many screenshots that you could take. I'm gonna have trouble picking out a screenshot for the thumbnail for this video because there's so many just gorgeous thumbnails. I think I think I'll probably there. go with this one I right I think here. I got it. <laughs> you need uh, to really, I think the inside is where I want to. Normally I take the outside for a screenshot, but. But the inside so ornate. Good. Yeah. You know, I think, I think inside is definitely the way to go. But I mean, guys, there's only so much of this we can show off in a few minutes. Um, but as I said, world download in the video description. So download it for yourself. Take a look at it in detail. There's so much just little details in this. You know, I mean, even even the floor, the way that he did the lighting. See the patterns using chisel quartz, block of quartz, and then the carpet. Really? I mean, oh yeah. Oh, look at the floor. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even even the floor is just so finely detailed. Or, you know, the way that he's done the Oops. pillars or, I mean, every little, every inch of this build is just covered in detail and it is truly breathtaking. I'm going up to this main dome for one last look at the main dome because this is pretty spectacular. How has he done all these lines? I wonder, I wish I knew if he had used uh, World Edit. Oh, he must have used World Edit. There's just I no... Would, I would think he would have had to, but I mean... Look at can... this. Sticks out of the wall so much, and he's hidden light behind it. That's so clever. Oh, he has. Hmm. Ah, very clever. Oh. That's, wow. Wow, I'm just going to blown away. Look at the detail in the ceiling, and these, these kind of rods that come down. That's incredible. Yeah, well, and these the use of these birch fences here that come all the way down to the chandeliers, 
That's also very true. <laughs> yeah. That's also very true to the actual real life building. They have those that that would be kind yeah. of awkward to dust, I think. Oh, can you imagine? I'd hate to I'd hate to be the clean the uh the janitorial staff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the boy that has to clean it. Yeah, just climb up. <laughs> just shimmy up. You'll be all right. <laughs> Get those cobwebs. <laughs> we'll give you workman's comp. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, but I think I think that's pretty much as much as we can show you in the time that we have, guys. We won't take up any more of your time. Check it out for yourself. Download it. Take a look. Get some inspiration. Take a take some notes on all the detail that's been placed into this because it's fantastic. And Vox aside, hats off to you, man. Holy cow. This this truly took my breath away, and I don't get, I don't say that lightly because that doesn't happen all that often. I wonder if Monsterfish has seen this place, because he's the the creator of the Conquest Texture Pack. pack. I hope he has. Hmm. Well, if not, we might. He might. Maybe we, he will. We could ask maybe him. He'll, yeah. Maybe he'll see. Uh, maybe he'll see your video on it. Mm -hmm. You know, who knows? But I think that's about it for us guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Andy, where can they where can they find you? Andy is Yoda on YouTube. All right. Well, and we'll put uh, we'll put links to Andy stuff in the video description below. But I think other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll definitely see you next time.